France. Simon is behind the camera for a moment and I'll be taking over in a second when he starts the painting demonstration. And we are, this is one of our live and lockdowns. Well, for us, it's almost lockdown. We found out last night with um, President Macron's um, um, announcement to the nation that France is about to go back into a full national lockdown. And listen to the 10 o'clock bells in the background. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? Um, and that's coming from the village of Magong, just over there in the distance. Um, and it's a, a typical winemaker's village with its rather grand chateau, which would have been built in the late 1800s by one of the wine barons, who made a lot of money in this region. Um, and nowadays, the Comte of Magong actually lives in it. But we also, I was just taking a wander to it a little bit closer by, and um, I think it'll make a really, really lovely um, painting as well. So if you guys can give us a, a thumbs up or a thumbs down, if it's something that you'd like to paint. Um, What's not to like about painting a French chateau? I know, exactly. And also it's within our 10 kilometer limit. So we're hoping to do some proper live in lockdowns while we are actually locked down. Strictly, probably not a hundred percent in the rules, but you know we're not going to be hurting anybody, and we are allowed to exercise up to ten kilometres away from home. So we're just going to have to do some on-the-spot jogging <laughs> as we paint. Any case, enough right. of me, and on with the painting. <coughs> okay, so Sai, I'm going to um, just scan up a little bit. Because, because we're standing on quite a slope, I'll be doing this every now and then, just to remind everybody exactly what we're painting. And good morning, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening around the world. Today, I'm Simon from Painting in France. Monica's behind the camera. Um, today, we're gonna to paint this lovely little old Maze, and I'm sure Monica will tell you at leisure some of the history about these little buildings. Um, but if you'd like to look over here, yeah, what I've done, a I've done a little 2B pencil sketch of the scene already, and I've missed a lot of the greenery out. I love this tree, but I'm going to ex I've exposed the rocks a little bit more, but we can always add more green onto the actual painting as we go along. I've been, used a little bit of artistic license in the, the majestic hills in the background, which are probably not quite that visible, but hey. We know they we have the hills, we have the ballets, the vines and so on. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the a lovely cerulean blue sky, just everywhere except for around the, the building. I want to keep that kind of fresh, perhaps with a touch of pathalo blue. Right. Um, did you wet your paper slightly before I, I you actually, started? Actually, but it's probably pretty it's dry, dry by now. now yeah. So what I've done, I've got them. Um, I'm going to try and speak a little softer. Okay. Now I've mixed up some cerulean blue here and I'm going to start washing that on. Let's have a look. Let's go all the way across today. Slightly hazy sky. Well not actually from there is it? You would be surprised how blue the sky is for me which is going to be a... Uh, so I've got this just flowing nicely across the page. I'm going to wipe some uh, signature clouds in some point but I'm going to kind of paint over the tree what what I love is when I did the drawing this morning I saw there's this lovely gap here behind the tree it just helps to kind of make the the building stand out but like I said I'm going to just add some water as I come down the page I'm going to add some water oops to the mix and just thin that down a bit before those uh, mountains in the background How's that looking? Done? All right. It's looking pl pretty blue. Pretty blue, yeah. But it'll lighten, won't it? It will, yeah. Um, what I'm going to do? It's it's one thing that I think a lot of amateur um, watercolor artists maybe are slightly nervous about using the the, the colors strongly. It does lighten, yes, you're right. Oh, let me just uh, get that down. Um, what I've done, I've just dampened the brush. I'm going to put a few sweeping, just sort of wipe a few clouds in here. Sort of from off the edge, maybe a little bit down here, have some down here. I think that'll be fine. Sorry, I'm sort of moving around a bit. I'm standing on slightly uneven ground. Now this is hardcore watercolor painting. Now we're on uh, the rocky ground of the vineyard, um, but the show is going to go on. And I've realised I've been blue up there. 
So if I'm still, if I'm quick enough, I'll just catch it. There we go. Let's, let's do over all that. But I've kind of left the rocks and the vineyard clear of blue sky, otherwise everything becomes a kind of greeny mush. There I'm just going to scan up again slightly okay. so everybody can see the scene. There we go. Sky, you know what? I might even put a bit more on. I'm going to go a little bit bolder, a little bit more phthalo blue in that sky. Oh, really? Yes. It'll, 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 it will dry. We, um, we've got quite a few new people watching. New people, here. welcome new people. And Come a on. lot of familiar faces as well. Oh, what we like. So, welcome. And um, we're, as we always do, we're going to do a, ask people where they're watching from. It's always yes. interesting for us to see where people are watching. Yes, from. We, can't, we can't get anywhere. In fact, it's even less now. We've been uh, locked down again from this weekend here in France. So we've got a limit of 10 kilometers. So I was just saying to Monica that you may get lots of paintings of our back garden in the coming weeks. Only problem is we have no 4G reception oh. or, uh, or Wi-Fi oh. in our back garden. There we go. Uh, that's got a nice sort of... Yeah, that's nice. So I've left the building clear. Now, I think it's the... It's got some paints. Great, perhaps a clean brush. Excuse me. We're saying with this mazé, we wish we knew a little bit more about the history. I mean, you see these mazés dotted throughout the, um, the vineyards in this area of France and they were largely, most of them are a lot smaller than this one um, and they largely sort of were used as storerooms to store equipment um, but this one seems a little grander on its rocky promenade and it's, yes, it's, it's actually got a little sort of balcony area and I think it's quite romantic it is quite romantic isn't it? It's actually very run down and looks extremely dangerous inside. Okay, so now I have mixed a little Naples yellow for the facade and the rocks and the background colour. So I'm just going to literally just paint that on top of there. Ian Jackson, watching from ah, good man, the Wirral. We can almost see his house from here. There we are. A bit more of that. Well, that's kind of a bit thick. But the nice thing is that this is a crumbly old building, so you can really mix the colours. I'm going to put a little bit of some yellow oak in there. As it's damp, you can blend it all in. I'll put a little bit of shadow on that side later on. But right now, we're just being quite rough, as you can see. Getting this kind of basic, or well, background colour of, of the rocks. I'll put some, can you see, I'll put some steps in here. There were some originally, I think, and they've kind of crumbled away, but I thought it was quite quite nice to have some steps. So there we are. Actually, I realised I should have done my, my distant hills first. But anyway, we're, this has still got that lovely Naples yellow and with a little bit of yellow oak mixed in. Welcome, Pauline. Lovely to see you here again. Hello, hello. I'm sorry to hear it's a chilly Essex. We've chilly lucky. Essex. Our weather is very spring-like at the moment. Have we got anyone from Florida or the... Uh, or the Philippines. I'm going to keep it quite rough just down here. Let's fade that out. Oh, we've got some hills. I'm going to put um, just some sweeping colour across there. We'll come back to that again in a minute. The way this is going, darling, once again, I think we'll be home before 11. <laughs> <laughs> Good, okay. I would normally just run a hairdryer over that to dry, but I think we'll. It's is quite warm here this morning, isn't it? It's nice not blowing. <laughs> no, fine. Steady. There's a, we'll there's, a, a, there's a little breeze, isn't there? It'll dry. We'll be right. It'll, it'll dry, dry right, soon yeah. enough. Um, next, I'm just... Well, that's... It's probably dry. I'm going to put a little bit of... Slightly... A little bit of paint grey in with the... The building mix. Just to... Mr. Van Borgeregen. Ah, Mr. Van B. Okay, man. I hope he's got his paintbrushes out. Here, I'm just going to put a little bit of... A little bit darker on that edge, look. And I'll fade it out. Down the bottom. So we got a little bit of definition in between those, the front face and the side face. There's going to be some more The sun at the moment shadow. is almost straight up to it, is yeah, it? Yeah, but I wanted a little bit of um, a little bit of difference here. Oh, it's gone blue. Where's that come from? Quick. It's going to be in the, it's going to be in the shadow anyway. We'll be right. Here we are. Okay, so I'm just literally just putting on quite quite rough 
mixes and washes of colour at the moment. So we're going to leave that. Got some nice cracks in there. These doors are going to be dark later on. Okay, I think while that's drying over there, I'm going to um, just wrap that. put some distant hills in. What colour are they there? I'm just going to sweep up again. Sweep up. Missing the um, blue skies of France, Mark. Uh, oh, it's very good in England, isn't it, though? No? I don't know. I, I heard. Well, yes. Mike, when I spoke to my brother, he said it was good in Oxford the other day, but I think it wasn't due to be good for long, unfortunately. Okay, well, I've got... So, I'm just going to actually sweep around so that people can see that you've kind of just brought in. I don't know if it's going to be visible on the camera. Hills of the Espinous. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit of just it's a kind of pale grey blue mix just there in the distance. It's quite nice, isn't it? We'll have some trees in front of there later on. Good. How's that looking? Okay, okay. I think we're done. <laughs> right. Thank you for watching, everybody. <laughs> Home for breakfast. <laughs> Uh, right, let's have a look at this. What's next? Let's get a slightly darker. I have a little bit of bit of Payne's grey with my mix of. Let's have some Naples yellow and. So what is our colour palette today? It's we've got some silly. Naples yellow and a yellow oak I'm using. Uh, this is some burnt sienna, burnt umber, cadmium red. I'm not. Which I doubt you're going to be using cadmium red, are you? That's next week's poppy. Um, greens, lime green, sap green, hookers green, and then we've got cerulean blue, pathano blue, ultramarine, I think there's a little bit of violet, and some Payne's grey. So let's have a look. So I've got a. Yeah, this is like, Interesting, you don't normally have lime green. How can you add it there to that? Uh, <laughs> I found it when I was packing up this morning. Okay, well, you just and, got uh, excited. I got excited and I thought, ah, oh, that might just come in handy for some fresh spring green colours. I'm just, see, I'm just putting a little bit of, just a, don't want to go too dark. I'm just putting some. So last bursts of summer in South Australia. Ah. Norfolk is a little chilly, but Birmingham has been 20 plus for the last few days. Wow. Have you not, has your family not been crowing about it on WhatsApp? Uh, no, they haven't actually, no. That's unusual. So yeah, so what I'm just going to put a little. I'm just adding a little bit of definition here and there with a slightly darker. Welcome, are you? Version. And your sister in Cornwall has just joined ah. us. Welcome, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. I hope she's got a paint out. So, yeah, so what have we done so far? Just to recap cerulean blue and pathalo blue wash across the sky all the way down to the hills. Um, I've got some Naples yellow and yellow ochre going into the building. And I'm slowly adding a little bit of Payne's Grey to that mix, adding some texture and some shadows. And now, where are we? I've just done a little bit of blue and grey mix for the hills. And let's have some, let's have some, what should we do next? I think actually the, I'm going to do a small brush, excuse me. Okay, changing uh, brushes. Changing what brush. was the brush you were using before? Because you tend to use that brush a lot, don't you? We have. Sorry, I'm sort of randomly just showing yeah, random, the rest of the land landscape. A, I've got round brushes number 16 and number 12. Um, that's, and then I'm just going to get a little bit finer already with these. Oops. I'm looking to put some tiles in. Uh, I've got a little sort of yellow. You don't see much of the tiles, do you? Not really, no, but I'm, as I said, this is, um, this is a slightly more romantic version of the scene. So I'm going to have a little bit of yellow ochre in. And Sienna. Okay, can I just... Yeah, just there. Yeah, okay. Burn just Sienna. Keep, keep shadow out of it. There we are. Okay. And I'm just literally going to put a... Let's have a look. Let's get some... Uh, it's kind of a rat. Yeah, it's, it's sort of, actually there's a nice little um, bit of stick sticking out there. It gives it a bit of rustic character. I don't want it too even. This is a little bit even. But we've got a... It's quite a broken roof, isn't it? It is really, yeah. It reminds me of the sort of thing that the, um, what is that period in, in painting history? 
um, where you know the where, where you got got all the poets oh, yes. and everything doing their grand tours. The grand tour, that is it. And they're yes. painting. That what we're on. They, they, they were a lot of ruins and sort of romanticised sort of this paintings. Is done. It. Oh, this is where we are. Um, I've, I've got to do a. If you could just quickly slip into a dress and a bonnet and carry a parasol up through there, that would just what finish if, off the I'd scene. I'd have to have very long arms. <laughs> so, let's have a look. Just, so, yeah, I'm thinking, it's all got a bit, a bit same. I might come back in there. It's not too bad. On. No, it's all right. We're going to have a little bit of a, some random shapes. In fact, I might put that shadow on there first. And then, no, I'm going to come back. I'll do this. Three, I think. So we keep, keep over this area. I've got a little bit of burnt umber. It's quite a dark. I've noticed place. you've kind of cut down on the trees a little bit as well because you've got that sort of burst of tree coming out the left hand side, which you've not put into your drawing or you're planning to put it in. Well, this, the thing, what I wanted to do, I think the key, obviously now it looks like it's been set fire to around here, but what I wanted to do was rather than do all the greenery straight away, I'm going to be a bit of a landscape architect and um and just add add where i think it looks good okay so you're going to build up the greenery build up the greenery yeah so at the moment i've got a a little bit of burnt umber and Payne's gray just to do this old trunk here which is ah said do you think it's quite important to kind of sometimes edit what you're looking at not feel the sort of um yeah, the, the yeah, I pressure think so, yeah. to paint absolutely yes. everything that's in well, that's your it. view. Well, this is a classic example because here's the steps, which you can't actually see because they're all overgrown, and the distant hills I've moved a little bit, and I've reduced the greenery here so you can see them. And, but I think, you know, it, it's it's allowed. It's your painting. You know, I, I think people get quite sort of hung up on it. Uh, that could be a little bit darker. Um, but no, I think there's there's always flexibility. Um, at the end of the day, it's, it's your picture, isn't it? So what are you using? Is that just burnt umber that you're using? For this is like time? a, yeah, burnt umber with a bit of Payne's Grey, that trusty Payne's Grey. And, and now, I think I'll go for a little bit of sap green. Sap green. Nice. Yeah, normally I can have, I sort of work the whole area. In fact, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to, I'm just going to let that dry out of the dark trunk. I'm going to come over to these sort of fields and stuff over here so that's working a bit of green there to start off with yeah not too not too strong because it's quite quite distant in fact it's it's quite murky because the whole thing was on fire last week wouldn't it? we had a bit, of a bit of a fire raging through the area we did unfortunately we had a big well i suppose it was a bit of a bushfire and there's a, what we call the pesh and it's actually a an extinct volcano a little mini extinct volcano. Oh, the shadow, please. I know, but, oh, yeah. but it's your shadow, <coughs> is it not? No, it's the microphone. Oh, it's the microphone. Okay, Everything else my hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. You, that's true. You've got a hat um, on, I wouldn't have. I've got that. Uh, okay. Now I'm just coming a bit further forward. I've left some sort of yellow ochre areas and I'm just kind of. You can afford to be quite fresh on the green at the moment, given that it it's is actually, spring yeah, as well. Right. Um, and while I'm down there, that's that's going to be darker eventually. Actually, while I'm here, I'm just going to put a splash of this soft green in between the vines. Um, if you look, there's a little grassy section, but I'm going to keep it just a bit sketchy. Let's have it just a one, two, three. Uh, Talkie's been very patient, been <laughs> below. Um, she has had a, a little bit of a walk on her way here. And a bit of a mole dig. There are quite a lot of moles yeah. in the field, so she's she, every now and then she she digs like she's trying to get to Australia. I mean, the vines are, as you can see, there's nothing going on. Oh, a little, little bug. Oh, well, they are. They're tiny little, there's what they call, well, a bit more than bug burst. I'm just going to show you. There we go. Little green oh, leaves. Yeah. In case, and I in fact, it. there's more today than there was yesterday, because we yeah. came here and we actually walked here from our house yesterday. It's about couple of kilometers two three kilometers away from where we live so we walked up here to do the recce to make sure that we had enough mobile signal and where we were going to stand and actually there are more leaves today than they were right, yesterday yeah. 
Okay, now I'm going to just put oh, it's a bit green. I'm just putting this. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little bank. Well, the edge of this vineyard kind of drops off. Can I just yeah. scan around? Yeah. Over oh, your head. Red. And there we go. You can see that little back over Simon's head, oh. looking at that, and back down. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. So I'm putting these little. It's just like the edge of the. Just a hint at the. This is probably the edge of the. The vineyard. Um, but what I'm. You can go on. The more you look into the into the scene, there's there's more and more green. But I'm just gonna. You could start getting quite um, pedantic, couldn't you? Because there's the line Indeed, of plane yes. trees and there's... Yeah, I'm just going to put um, perhaps a hint of maybe some more vines. Oh, there's just a few little clumps of trees on the edge of the road. I think that's... Say Sufi. That's enough just... So it just kind of hints that something going on over there. Maybe put that picture there. Good. So that's that was actually done in sap green, and now I'm going to add a little bit of trust your hookers. Hookers, you've got it in one. So bear in mind, in order to keep a, a freshness about your picture, always think where's the sun coming from. The sun is coming from behind me, and it's coming on my left shoulder. So I'm just going to make it a little bit darker on the kind of on the right hand side of these. The bushes and underneath there a bit, just to give um, a hint that yeah, perhaps the sun is coming from there. Which I'm really enjoying doing these because I have to be quite quick. I like, don't go back and repair things. I just kind of okay, that looks about right. So while well, I've got the sap green flowing, are you enjoying doing them outside? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Rosie, this isn't like a Zoom class. You can't actually join. You have kind of joined as much as you can. Um, but yes, this will be saved on the page later, yeah. and then you will be able to do this at your leisure. So, yeah, we kind of—it's not so much a, a, a class, um, but the great. Well, hopefully, the, the nice thing is that th there will be a video uh, on Facebook initially, and then also you may well already be watching this on on YouTube because then you can. Well, you can't watch this on YouTube at well, the yes, moment. But... Yes. <laughs> But they will be if you've got in about a week's time we'll put it up um, and the good thing about that is that you can then uh, go back and rewind and, and, and set things up and, and pause stuff and yeah exactly and I'll put a, a little bit of you'll be able to find a kind of step-by-step -step guide of what I've been doing here today um, actually no because I'm painting not photographing no, you can't get it <laughs> I can't give them. so but you'll be able to kind of play the video back at your leisure and uh, rewind and, and pause stuff, but uh, so you should, it'd be a, a nice way of doing it in painting. So what I've got here, sap green, and I'm just kind of using that, got a nice sort of edge across there. Once again, like I said, I'm, I'm not, it actually kind of goes all the way around the side of the building, but I may do that, I might not. But this is just really, at the moment, just to get that shape of this magnificent pine, magnificent unkempt pine isn't it? It's not really uh, been shaped at all. Hi Rosie, yeah it's very strange that you can't log on to your um, log on to Facebook on your computer but that that unfortunately is yeah it's obviously an issue that you've got with Facebook on your computer at the moment. No she can't, okay. We'll, uh, we'll keep in touch. Oh, now I'm just yeah keeping that kind of greenery just sort of behind the building just that just helps to give the the shape of the building. You're are. doing this is quite dabby, aren't you? So it's do you want to talk dabby. this through again? Yeah, um, I've got literally just a mix of um, sap green, but I wanted to um, keep that nice sort of intense blue there because it just sort of takes you through the picture. But also, can you talk through just your the, your sort of dabbing technique a bit? The dabbing I know technique, yeah. <laughs> people struggle with trees. Um, yes, I've sort of slowly build that shape up. Um, in a kind of dabby, dabby technique. What size brush um, are you using? This is now number eight. Okay. And I'm going to try now to bring a little bit of hooker's green or the darker green. But you're just kind of dabbing it on, it's sort of... Yeah, you, you've got to kind of stand back now again and look at the shape. 
I thought, yeah, I got a bit more over here, a bit more over there. But again, when you're dabbing, you're doing yeah. it from different directions, aren't you? So yeah. they're not always from the same direction to create that's, that slightly more animation. Yeah, that's true. Different, different kind of pressure. And sometimes using the point, sometimes using the side of the that's brush. That's right, yes. Okay. Um, in fact, I'm going to, I've got, this is... Hi, hook, Mill. Are you thirsty? Uh, hook is green. Um, so I'm just going to try and build in some you know, little darker areas in there. Probably keep it quite loose, really. And um, let's have a look. There's some big sort of dark areas up here. We're just trying to get that slightly three-dimensional feel, which may or may not work. Great to hear your computer's working, Rosie. <laughs> Good, so now I'm just a breeze picking up. Hopefully that's not going to get too uh, catastrophic. I'm kind of um. Oh no, that's not a good idea. We're getting microphone. That's the one thing. It's a little more complicated doing this live, isn't it? Because it you is have got really, sun, yes. and oh, yeah, suddenly okay. you get the strong shadows. On you this get strong so shadows, and um, I'm going to come back to that. I think and make it a little bit stronger. So, but while I'm here, let's have a look. We've got a few more rocks. Let's put a little bit of a. Uh, Let's do some work on the building and then I can stand back and look at the overall scene. So we've got... Because there's more that, that green nice that can be added if you feel that it's necessary and that sort of yeah. thing as well, isn't it? Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix up a bit of a shadow a shadow mix. I've got, yeah, the view um, out of Lou's garden in Pezenas is lovely as well, Pauline. Ah, that could be a... So I've mixed a little bit of... Um, I think it's intense violet into violence with some Payne's grey just okay. to give it just to give a slightly warmer just trying to shadow there we go. okay right, yeah and I'm going to now let's put that right over the top of there and it kind of what's, what's great if you... okay I'm just going to scan up just so that the guys okay. can be reminded just hold on a second there we go you can see the tree and the shadow and that strong shadow underneath the of the yeah, that's what I'm trying to catch on there. A bit of shadow in there, look. So it's a little kind of a uh, nice... It's kind of got that strong shadow in the little windows as well, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, let's, let's do that. You know how if people post things on Instagram, I see faces and everything? And that little house, <laughs> it's got its two little eyes and a big oh, open right. mouth. Okay. Hang on, so I've got that. Piece there. So by putting these little diagonal shadows on very delicately, it just see me, it just makes the yeah. that stand out. So while I'm here, a slightly slightly thinner version, I'm going to put some down here. Look, and it's kind of it's kind of dappled as well. So I leave a few little. We can go down that edge to about there. Yeah, and then see, again, I'm, I'm going to go up. So as you can see, the shadow is, you know, quite solid towards the back, and then it becomes more dappled as it comes to the front of the building. Thank goodness the sun is out again today. Otherwise, that would look a little flat. We're not going to do murky lock lockdown lights, are we? <laughs> We're not doing anything murky, no. Um, okay, that's nice. So then, let's make it a bit stronger again. And Have you kind of put a random door in the side that doesn't exist? I think you'll find it. Oh, doesn't exist. In my photograph, it looked like there was a door. Oh. That's suspicious and slightly spooky. Overnight, somebody has come and they've got a door. Yeah, like I said, we're going to go and do a little clip of what's inside this building. But for now, I'm just putting that super dark in, even dark in there. Um, inside the building that can go really quite intense but, but carefully done carefully done you yeah, know likewise down here in fact it's a nice little bit of sort of you go into a slightly thinner brush to do all of this again this as well. is number eight, it's still number eight. eight. yeah okay. so you, the great thing about this style of brush is that you do get that um is it good? Is it, flexibility it's got a quite a point to it isn't it exactly yeah you get a nice sort of pointy pointer line pointy line there 
and you can get if you turn it on its side, you get a nice sort of um, tree painting. Um, well, brush. I like the way you've got those little shafts of yeah. light. Uh, yeah, see, see again, oh, back to the building, and you can see those little shafts of light. Oh, this yeah, I see. Now, I see already. I thought it was too strong. It actually, it's already. It's already up. Isn't it? What should it be about my mystery door? I'll leave it. <laughs> You can just leave it as a random okay. mystery door. A random mystery door. Okay, so we've got a little bit of um, let's say a little bit of brown on here, look. and we've got an old rusty shutter or something in here. Look, there's a shutter, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I mean. I mean. These brushes are great for that kind of detail. Um, I mean, we're, it's it's all drying quite quickly out here, so hopefully it's not going to run into anything. Oh, there's a little shadow under there. Um, the Juliet balcony, is that what's called? Yeah, it is. I think Juliet. Romeo, Romeo. Juliet and uh, Romeo were here in the previous life. Romeo, Romeo, where for yes. thou, Romeo? So, did you, what, so what's the story behind these kind of buildings? Well, they were largely just used as storage spaces. I mean, I, I sometimes wonder, you know, when transport was not as, you know, because in the late 1800s, I mean, there wouldn't have been motorized tractors and things like that a lot of the vignons would i mean all the vignons would have been um would have just had horses and i'm sure that what happened was their equipment and stuff would have left here rather than taking it back to the main domain every single night when they were harvesting and i sometimes wonder whether they actually even came and stayed out here you know and then cracked on early in the morning because a lot of the harvesting is done pretty early in the morning and sometimes even, you know, they would have tried to hit it really as the first light hit um, because they want the residual sugars in the grapes to be fairly low. Of course, yes. Might have had a hard job getting the truck up those steps. Sorry, it, the sound is evidently a bit scratchy at times. It's probably because of the the um, the breeze as it comes through. Okay, sorry, sorry if the sound guys. is a bit scratchy, everybody. We shall do our best. What I'll do is um, it's on the YouTube film. I'll put some captions as well, just in case things aren't uh, clear what's going on. But just to recap, we've got the scene drawn out in a two B pencil. Uh, I've washed in some cerulean blue and pathalo blue for the sky. Hi Nancy. Uh, and now we've got then some Naples yellow with a little bit of yellow ochre just to get a background lightness and then slowly started adding a little bit of paints grey and violet just to increase the shadows and, and tones and now you can see it's, it's beginning to kind of glow out of the page. In the hills I've just done a little bit of sky blue with a, with a hint of grey and the colours as you can see hopefully lighter in the background getting stronger in the foreground. So now I'm going to make I'm going to mix up. I'm going to recklessly mix up some some slightly darker green with too much uh, yeah, too much ultramarine here. But I want Whoa. to. That's, yeah, I'm that, going to. That, that's... But I want to get. If you look at, I mean, if you look at the, those shadows, it's intense in there, isn't it? So I'm, I'm going to try and still keep it quite loose. We could go on and on, adding needle by needle but that's not what i was uh, trying to do i wanted to get that coming across there look we're just trying to kind of show ah yes there's you know there's the depth in that tree these mediterranean pine trees are absolutely amazing they, are, they? they get yeah. to really they become massive we've got a dog standing here very very patiently <laughs> she sat there her deal was she thought she was going for a walk that's right which she had for five minutes. <coughs> well, maybe we should pack the car and then walk up to the Margon Chateau afterwards. Yeah, we could do that, yeah. And then we can maybe even do a very quick little live from there for two seconds just to show people Ooh, the scene. Not a bad idea. Now, now I've, I've come to this tree, I'm actually realizing that it's really quite quite dark in there. I'm gonna, it is. I'm going to put a few very little fine lines in. There's still a sort of spring freshness to the tree that even, baked in yeah, the summer, old tree, yeah. A few little branches here and there in the gaps. 
Rosie said, looking good. Love this type of painting, almost as oh. much as the doors. Well, Rosie, okay. we're looking forward to seeing your, yes, absolutely, your yeah. version. Come um, and join our, because we do a kind of gallery, don't we, of... Uh, yes, I haven't done recently, um, because obviously not many people have sent it in because they've been watching or uh, not doing the painting. I'm, just, I'm just getting distracted here now. What I'm going to do now, I've got a hint of rock and stuff. I'm going to put a few more bushes just to kind of tie this all together. Again, um, scanning up. So let's have a little bit of... We've got... So the side of the brush, I'm just going to put a few little flicky bits in here, look. And there's, let's have some down here, look. There's that lovely old rocket. You can tell this is this kind of mound that this building was built on is slowly crumbling away. It's an amazing little rocky outcrop though, it's, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite, I mean, a lot of these mazes are just kind of in the middle of a field, but this one is particularly romantic because it kind of sits on this, this promenade overlooking the, the, the countryside and it's kind of quite majestic. It is, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's caught our eye over the years, but it's, it's slightly tricky to get here. Well, in so far as you have to walk, squeeze between the vines Look, and it's a bit rocky. It's really tricky to get here because the car is parked just there okay. and we've okay. had to walk up a row of lines. Um, but it's not necessarily an ideal because we did consider it for one of our painting holiday scenes. But again, sort of June, September, when the weather's a little bit warmer, it actually starts getting a little bit hot out here. It does, yeah, there's, right, there's no shade. There's no shade, is there? No, that's it. Um, I'm just, actually, I'm getting And paint. when you've got equipment that you dragging up for six or seven people, then it does become quite a... Sort of ex extreme ward colouring. Plus um, umbrellas and all the extras that have to be brought up. Just gonna sort of lead, lead the eye with um, a few bits of greenery, but I want to kind of keep it vague to be honest. I'm, I, I like these rocks. I'll leave those. So it's just a, literally kind of a, quite a sort of thin um, sap green, just hinting at uh, stuff. You, we can overdo it. There is that danger. Rather. Well, I mean, do you have a kind of thing with watercolour rather underdo it than overdo it? Ideally, yes. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I've got, uh, I've missed quite a lot of the greenery out here, but that was that was deliberate because I think, you know, sometimes it's, it might be interesting to put a time limit on your painting and say, okay, I've got to get this done within an hour. And it just focuses your uh, your efforts because you can get, a little bit too bogged down with you know with the details and then start putting the trees in down the background and and so on and so forth rosie um we unfortunately i think with lockdown um a painting group outside wouldn't be allowed we were actually we were, going to, yeah. we were going to do a group at the end of this month um but i think unfortunately we're going to have to delay it but i think we'll definitely try and do um something from the second of May. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we'll keep, keep, keep you informed. Um, I think that's a bit. We, we, we're trying to bring a little group outside. Uh, we have got it planned, but um, it's not quite there yet, is it? No, it, 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 our plans kind of got garbled last night. We're feeling a little sad about it this morning, to be honest. You know, spring has just sprung and we kind of all want to get out and. Well, we were hoping to be off. To Camping, weren't we, to the, uh, to, the, to the Spanish border on the coast? Could we go on and do a little bit of a live from there? Yeah. You're going to correct me how I said that now, aren't you? I was going to say, uh, you Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that would have been great. That was the plan. And it will happen, believe me. It'll happen when we can get, get back out there. So, as some of you might have seen um, one of our sort of studio lives of <coughs> a scene me. that Simon did in Collier during the winter. Available on YouTube, Painting in France. Yeah, it's a, a beautiful, um, traditional, what's an anchovy um, fishing village, and it still has a, um, anchovy processing, a couple of little small, I wouldn't call them factories, they sort of artisanal um, anchovy producers. And 
and it's really, really picturesque. And we spent it down there for a few days, and we we're going to do a live an outdoor from there. No, I'm just going to. I'm not finished. Actually, I'm going to just put some. I've got these lovely old vines here. I was going to say, are we doing the vines? Yeah, I'm just going to put a hint of. So. A lot of. I'm just going to go with this shot. Uh, there. Sorry, I'm encroaching on your face a little. <laughs> um, let's have. Can you just sort of get yeah, your head the, back? Yeah. <laughs> right, which one? Yeah. Uh, I've got a dark. I've got a Payne's grey and burnt umber. And I'm just kind of do, giving you a little hint of. I know they're they've all been pruned and they're just beginning to grow and they're very systematically laid out, aren't they? These. They are and very systematically pruned as well. So. So, I mean, yeah, in reality, there's probably more, more here, but I think I'm just going to, we're just hinting, this is a romantic painting, I've got my Panama suit on, Panama hat. Your Panama suit? Panama hat, but not the Panama suit. you got the whole with suit. With the shorts and long white socks. <laughs> no, Panama hat and, and linen suit, while my wife adjusts her bonnet um, and parasol. The... The butler may have already laid the table for our lunch. Um, okay, that's. I don't want to get too. I'm just going to put a little bit of shadow behind these. Uh, you can't really see, can you? Just a little. Just a little bit of, bit of that kind of thing. Just want to kind of tie them onto the onto the ground. Um, How's it looking from where you are, darling? So put a, a bit more light and shade, maybe add some... I'm, I'm thinking it's pretty well looking pretty done. Good. Okay, well, actually, My boiled these... egg is calling. <laughs> boiled egg, I see. Okay, well, how about if I go... I oh, know. Now these, I'm just going to go <gasps> deep breath and a few, a few uprights. Hi, Denny. So I'm just putting a few of these in. Look at that. Oh. I'll put that one here. Your trusty number eight brush with its. I'll nice tell you, that's an all round, isn't it? Nice little shot. Imitation point. table, <laughs> number eight round. You can do anything with it. So nothing died in the the making of this brush. Nothing at all, no. They, just use the, they use the tail hair, don't they, or sable? Uh, I think it's like a that. nasal hair. Nasal hair. <laughs> no, no, we've got. We've got that. Uh, oh, I, don't... <laughs> I just had this vision up. <laughs> <laughs> Something with the tweezers. Sort of yeah, that's why it's so expensive. <laughs> that's why it's so expensive. Uh, sorry, that's me. I'm off. So actually, you know, I, I don't really. I'm, I'm flicking my brush out onto the dog. Even know. Oh <laughs> shame! Poor Molly's going to go home. Oh, all I, actually, she's probably she's thirsty. She's, she's grabbing every mouthful. Um, I know. I'm just going to finish off. <clears throat> excuse me, oui? with some line work. Excuse me. While he gets that ready, I will remind you of where we're standing. Isn't it lovely? No, I've got it. I know you're in there. Sorry, there we are. Okay. You found so, the trusty yes, I've pencil. <laughs> find uh, the little black crayon. Um, just a soft black crayon. I think it works n nicer than um, a pencil at this stage of the painting. So I'm literally going to put it. Just a couple of little lines in. I don't like it. Some people go over it with an ink pen. Literally go around everything. But I, I, it's really, I think it's in well, it's just your style, isn't it? Yeah. It's urban sketching style nowadays, which is urban lovely. Urban sketching, that's it. And that's very popular. Um, but it's, it's just not as, it's just not your style. This is raw sketching. Raw <laughs> sketching. Yeah, let's have a hint of some rocks, maybe a, a bit of shadow on one of these. I could have put these poles in like that. In fact, there's a few wires. No, but I, I like the fact that you've done them in rusty brown, because that's what they are. Let's have a little bit of something connecting it. I'm just going to into that. I've got a few little rocks going on here. The mystery door. Yes. I'm gonna, I bet there are, I think there is a door. You've got a few uh, thumbs up from people that are watching. Good, I'm glad they're enjoying it, wherever you are in the world. Um, we're painting live here in the south of France. Um, 
an old Maze, and I may well come back and add a little bit more to this, but at the moment, I just wanted to give you an idea of how we can bring that to life. If you want to have a go, please do. Rosie uh, saying, what pencil is that again? Sorry. Uh, this, is, uh, this is an Albrecht Dürer um, pencil from Faber-Castell. It's uh, black 199, so it's like a soft black crayon, really. And it is a watercolour, it's a watercolour pencil, so if you now wash water over it, it'll smudge, which sometimes is a quite a nice effect, but I tend to just add a few little touches of detail here and there, the, maybe the, you know, the rocks, things like that. Pam, lovely to see you, and it's been a pleasure. Maybe a few stones, look, there we are. Okay. That's step away from step the Step away, I think we'll. Okay. Oh, so, nearly tripped over that whole thing. Sorry, this is I so unprofessional. I'm just going to swing around, show you the face of <laughs> what you do. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. It's been a very quick, 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 qu